This poem is called Down in a Hole. On a cold September night, my breath quivered in a sinister smoke. The moon wept its light and reflected upon puddles building within my eyes. Fifty around the corners which allowed for thirty-five can't slow down. My hand is forced into a roaring third gear. The pull of the engine adds to the noise of unsuccessful numbness. Too focused on thought, the lights begin to blur into strands of greens, yellows, and I'm thrusted to the front of my seat long before I realized the last one was red. Playing down in a hole can no longer convince me there's someone further in. No volume suitable on the car stereo for me to forget the mess that will result in my arrival. Four steps to his front door didn't soothe the vibration of anxiety. I had come prepared to quell his disastrous thoughts with my lullabies, but the pipe... That's what he demanded of me. And song became only to distract me from knowing I was the instrument of his addiction. I grew tired pretending the walls were so interesting to avoid eye contact whenever he looked up at me. His eyes unsettled me so my bones felt as if each had been wrongly placed. So I left. Four steps to the car door felt like steps through marshes of madness. I settled in the cool cloth seats, but my intuition told me I couldn't be safe there either. On a cold September night, the sinister smoke sent shivers so aggressively to my spine that when the moon wept, I saw the stars swim and spiral like the starry night. I wonder if Van Gogh saw his kindred spirit turn to skin. I saw the green blues of his eyes all fading to a muddy gray of the con Concrete as I drove further and further from the man I was never stable enough to revive. The needle, hidden with hopeful intentions in the glove box, tempted me to swirl within the starry night's eerie turbulence. The anxious syringe magnetized itself to my whimpering veins. I urged my eyes to stay uncomfortably stiff in front of me, but my vision was stuck digging past papers and CDs through the box nestled so secretly for when I needed all the control. Manic euphoria soothed me into my only sane corner of hell. I'm living down in a hole, and I don't know if I can be saved. I'm greeted by somber silence. All I can hear is buzzing, and it tells me that I can stay here in the overwhelming heat forever. Sobriety suffocates the air around me. This is the last trip I'll take down in a hole with you. Our arms aren't strong enough for embrace, and our hands are far too crippled for connection.